hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching you guys how to draw a building elevation plan and before we start i would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you're just new to my channel and if you're returning to my channel i would love for you to like share comment on my channel as this will serve as a means of encouraging me to provide more well-rounded tutorial on AutoCAD so now we want to go to the business of the day now there's some assumption I made in this building elevation plan which is the door height is 2.1 meter the window height is 1.2 meter and the wall height is 3 meter this will guide us in what we are going to be doing today now back to AutoCAD now basically the first thing we need to do is to ensure that our layer property is on the wall now if you want to learn how to create a layer property i have previous video where i talked about it in the building floor plan you can go check it out now after that you go to you click on draw and you click on the rail command now with this ray command i always ensure that is my autocad is on auto mode so auto mode ensure that i have a straight line drawing you pick out point external points that stands out now you click on you left click on your mouse and you click the exit button and you click on enter again to repeat the previous command which is the ray command pick out the line you left click and you click on exit and you click on enter this is like a repetitive command that you use in getting the elevation drawing now we're picking out some points on the wall sorry we'll go back to view use this repetitive command exit enter to go back to the way command again hit the exit and we're picking out point that stands out on our external wall just pay attention to what i am doing now after this we are done with the external wall the next we need to pick out is for the doors and window that are facing this direction you can see this door is facing this direction this window is facing this direction why this window is also facing this direction still using the rail command we click on enter And we left click and we exit to do it's more or less like a repetitive case here yeah. So we are almost done. Now we've got in the exterior area that we actually need. Now the next thing we need to do is to click on line to get our base point of our building. So once we drag across we left click and we click on the exit on our keyboard now with this we can trim the back area of our can trim the downward area of our way command also trim this area and this area 
we hit the exit on our keyboard now remember I told you that our wall height is 3 meter so we take an offset of 3 hit the enter that is our wall height the next thing I made mention over there was the door height is 2.1 meter so we go back to AutoCAD and we have only one door in this in this side of our building that is visible which is this door the other door are inward so we take we make an offset of 2.1 and we hit enter from the base of our building take an upward we take an we make an offset of 2.1 from the base of our building now you can see then we have to trim we click on trim and we right click now this particular area don't the only area that have this door is this particular area so we have to trim areas that don't have this door so we trim this particular area has the door so we have to leave that we trim areas then the rest area don't have the door so we can delete now we go for the windows now you can see that for our windows that we have two windows in this direction which is this that is facing this direction and this now uh, so we would I what I oh I forgot to make that assumption from the base point of our building to the base point of our window will be 0 0.9 meter so we take an offset of 0 0.9 meter 0 0.9 meter heat it up and we take up now we have to trim area that don't have this window so we click on trim right click now we can let click on these areas that don't have the windows these areas don't have the windows these don't have there's no window over here but there's a window in this area so we trim here now i can remember i said the window height is 1.2 so we go back to autocad and we go to offset offset of 1.2 so we hit on enter and now we offset this we offset this now we can start doing internal trimming so that we see what we are actually doing so you can see this is for the window we trim this area we trim this area and we trim this area for the door now I can delete this we can delete this and we can delete this and delete this now for this particular building that we are seeing over here we can notice that there is a line at this point and there is another line in this area once we always use line in our elevation plan to show that the walls are at like the walls are not at the same level like you can see that this wall is at this level and is different from this exterior wall so this particular line is used to show that difference in level and this other line over here is used to show the difference between this wall and this wall so with that being said I can trim the rest now we can 
add power pads okay before that we should to try to design the window so that it will look like a window so you can see we can also choose to add use the fillet property or we can use the chamfer but before before that let's make an offset of well, I want to add power pad to the window so we can make an offset of 0 0.05 now over here we pick out chamfer so on it again and hit enter to go back to the previous command now we have a window similarly since this window is of the same dimension I could copy this click on copy pick out my point as this and I drag I pick out this point and I click on exit you can see we now have window with power pet also we use the same offset command still on 0 0.05 I want to create a, a power pet for our door Then we click on the chamfer. The other command we have the fillet bend call, but I need the chamfer command. So I click on this and using the line, using the line. Click on trim, right click, and trim this area. Click, left click on this area. Uh, you can see that we have actually gotten our doors and windows. Also, we can create our columns. How do we create column? Since we know this wall is 150, we can take an offset. of 0 0.075 so it shows you that I want to place a I want to place a column in this area and I can take my line also I want to show this I want to show that we have a beam at this point so I can pick my line and draw from any point
so I can take an offset of 0 0.45 that will be too big an offset of 0 0.2 Stay with me. Now we go to using our trim command. Now I want to mirror this image. click on the mirror command I select the object and I hit the enter and oh, I can't do that ok there's a way so I can trim this and this so I can now apply the mirror command on this hit the enter now I want to pick at this point now we've done the command now we can extend this line I'm trying all I'm trying to do is to create a column that is basically what I'm trying to do we can extend this line and then we can offset it to 100 to 1, so sorry, we can offset not to 1, to 0 0.1 basically will be trimming and you would understand what I just did so we trim this trim this we trim this this trim this area can see that the shape of a column is actually taking place we are having this shape of a column or what a layman would call pillar So we delete. Now we can trim. Now 
uh, we can also trim you know yet done but I need to move or copy some of these before that we have to trim some area and then I want to move some of this or I want to copy some of these elements to area that I want a pillar to be So we click on copy For that we need there's something I need to do before I copy so we use the line or the offset key remember uh, we did just pay attention stay with me I want to make the thing easier for was to copy so now we can start all over to do the copying so we have to highlight what we want to copy so we can click on copy and we can specify this as a base point and then click on this area and we hit the exit delete now we go back we go to this other area that we need a pillar and all we need to do is to extend this line and we need to trim click on the trim command or two and we right click we need to trim some certain areas we trim this out we trim this out we trim this out and this trim this now I want to add more design to the beam I wouldn't want the connection to just be in a rectangular form so I might trim this out trim this trim the instance using the fillet command I click on it and then I come over here and I hit the radius and I can pick out a radius of 0 0.14 and I hit on enter I click here and I hit here I click on enter again to repeat the command of fillet and I click over here and I click over here you can see our building is taking shape you can see we are having a beautiful structure with the door windows the beam all taking shape 
now we are going to make a power pet on which our roof we sit on now we can using the offset key click on offset and we want to use an offset of 0 0.05 i hit on enter i can offset this i offset again and i offset the third time making it a total of 0 0.45 meter i click on exit so that is the total length of our offset so with this i can stretch i click i select this line and i drag i select this other line and i drag select this hold the center click on it and drag hit the exit key now you can use the line from this point drag upward using the offset still want to offset the line at zero point so i want to make an offset of 0 0.15 hit enter oh as it that is too big offset of 0 0.05 will be okay so now delete now we can trim Can trim this. Now, using the fillet, and we click on radius. Can use the radius of zero point one five, and we hit on enter. Click on this. That's too big come back here click on radius we change radius to 0 0.04 click on enter click on this think of taking that command off go back to fillet and we click on radius and we want to use the radius of 0 0.04 and click on enter so when we click on this and we click on this that is what we get then we click on enter to repeat that fillet command we click on this and we click on this it shows you that gives you that fillet shape we click on enter again to repeat the command we click on this and we click on this you can see what we've gotten now we hit we hit the escape now we can delay this and this We don't need to delete that we will use our trim and we right click pick this out pick this out and this so we are good to go now we have to copy it to the other area so hit the escape button on our keypad now Now we have to copy what we've just done to the other side. So 
so we select what we've done and we click on copy and we pick out this center also we we have to use the mirror command this is the object we want we hit on enter and we need a mirror plane Erase source object, no. Now we go to the other side and we can see that it has been mirrored at this end. So we just drag to this point. Click on this. Drag to this point. In the exit, we click on this other line and we drag to this point you can see we have done our power pet the next thing we need to do is to put up our roof now for the roof we'll be using an angle of 25 degree as the angle of our roof now for the roof we pick out this and use okay we will use the 510 so that we can get an angle of 25 and we click on line from this point you see our angle is showing it's taking place so this is angle you can drag as much as possible This is angle. This is angle 25. So before that, there is something I did not do. Also, this particular shape for the power pet also come up in. also come up in some certain areas like here and here so so we should I'll go back to get go back to get this shape so that I can impute them in the right angle so we click on copy now we've copied them So, with that being done, we can now also click on line, and we trim. Click on line. Uh, 
and we can also trim and we also add this other area pick out we click on line from this angle we use the 155 is the same angle as 25 when you're coming from when you're moving towards the left side you use 155 degree and when you're coming towards the right hand side you use 25 so they are similar angles using the trim you right click and then you pick out this this and this you can see we have a building elevation plan now we need to use we need to add hatches so I have actually changed my layer property to hatches and I click on this and I prefer for this building I want to use this AR hatches you can see so once I click on this I think they're telling me that getting a message that my area is not enclosed. to ensure this area is enclosed so let's go back now we pick out our line so we can actually impute We hit the exit and from here we take a straight line we use our auto mode to drag a straight line and we hit the exit now we're using our trim command we right click and we left click on this we left click on this and left click on this now for our hatches click on hatches click on a arrow I will pick at this point you can see pick at this point pick at this point you can see we've actually picked out three points now this particular hatches you can see what we've done here We can actually reduce the hatches transparency over here. What does it mean? It simply means that the hatches in front will be more brighter than other. So, but I don't want that. I just want to close the hatches editor. And this is what we have done. We've actually done the front view elevation plan of this building. And I would love to say thank you for watching and stay true to my channel in the next class i will be teaching you guys how to print out your work and how to also get your roof design so thank you and god bless you